only been on the stage, but have been successful on the stage? Well, I think you know, winning experience is, is very helpful this time of year. Uh, you know, our guys, especially our juniors and seniors, have won a, a lot of big games in March and, and been a part of uh, some very, very close games and, uh, you know, tense games and games where there's a lot on the line. So, yeah, it's, it's very valuable. It gives you something to draw on. You know, when you're in a, in a situation, you can look back and say, okay, we've been here before, we've done this. Um, but at the same time, you still got to go out and play. I mean, you still got to perform in the present moment. And, you know, for our guys, every team is new. Every team has new leadership. We don't have Joey Rodriguez out there. We don't have Jamie Skeen. We don't have Brad Burgess. Uh, but this year's uh, team has done a lot of great things uh, in the past. Guys, guys on this year's team have done a lot of great things in the past and this year. So the great thing about this opportunity starting Thursday is we get a chance to create more uh, terrific moments in Mark. Uh, Keith is uh, – He's my best friend in coaching, and I don't have a lot of friends in coaching. It's, it's a business where, you know, you just don't have time to socialize a lot or spend a lot of time messing around with anybody. But Keith's a guy that I worked with for three years. Uh, he's unbelievably good to me uh, when I was at Akron. Uh, really took me under his wing, and he didn't know me from anyone, uh, and I didn't know him. My first day on the job at Akron, uh, he was an assistant at the time, and I'd never, I'd never met him. I'd heard about him, but I'd never met him. He, uh, he took me at lunch to go work out LeBron James. And uh, so I'm standing there in a rec center gym at lunchtime in Akron, my first day on the job, and LeBron James pulls up in a Hummer. He's a senior in high school. At the, it's the end of it. He's, it's like May of his senior year. And uh, Keith and I proceed to work him out for the next two months. Uh, well, take that back. I helped Keith. I mean, I really didn't say much for the first few times because I, uh, I was in awe. But, uh, you know, it was a great experience. But that's the type of guy he is. So, yeah, when we found out we were playing Akron, uh, I guess some of the guys on our staff kind of thought it might happen. I hadn't thought about it at all. But, uh, you know, my, my first conversation with him was, you know, I still love you, man. And he said the same thing. But, you know, he's a competitor. He's going to do everything he can to have his team ready to win, and so will we. In some ways, is this the hardest and maybe the easiest game you've had to prepare for? Easy because you know him so well, but hard because of the personal relationship you have? No, I think once, uh, once that initial uh, reaction of finding out we were playing them, once that was out of the way, it's the exact same as any other game. Now, you know, after the game, it, it, it'll be mixed emotions either way because uh, you know, his team is, is the one, uh, well, one of the three or four teams around the country that I really, really pull for, and I watch any chance I get. You know, Akron, Florida, uh, you know, Oliver's teams. So it, it's, that, that'll be different. But as, as of now, you know, two days before the game, tomorrow, the day of the game, everything will be the same in terms of, you know, doing the best we can to try.